Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress data and request security and this is our part 5. In this video session guys, we will discuss about the securing output and also guys for the documentation purpose you can follow this URL right here. And also guys if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of WordPress data and request security to get the clear concept about part number 5. So basically guys if this video is your first video session then I strongly suggest to watch our previous video session to get the clear concept about the user roles and capabilities which we have discussed in our part 2. In our part 3 we have discussed about the data validation and also in our part 4 we have seen about the sanitization functions as well as we have seen that how can we protect our user input values from the securing input ways okay so in this video session guys we will discuss about the securing output which basically says that suppose we have output and we want to render to our HTML page or WordPress PHP pages so how can we protect our outputted value suppose our output value does not contain the valid values it contains some special characters some of the HTML tags so how can we protect those values to get the print directly to the page so just go to next slide and now securing output what is securing output securing output is the process of escaping output data okay this is done to prevent access as attack and also to make sure that the data is displayed the way the user expects it to be what is escaping escaping converts the special HTML characters to HTML entities so that they are displayed and instead of being executed basically guys these statements says that we have some values in our database and we want that those values will render to our HTML or PHP pages but basically if the output data contains any attacking code any of HTML characters any special functions any special HTML and PHP related codes then we can remove before output data okay we need to protect the output data before that so how can we that do that we need to use the escaping functions what is escaping functions escaping functions basically provided by the WordPress to escape the output data means the output data if contains any malicious code then in that malicious code we need to remove those characters first to get the printed okay so what are those functions basically the WordPress provides the functions called ESC underscore HTML okay next functions called ESC underscore text area next function something called ESC underscore ATTR and next function that is ESC underscore URL so basically guys in this video session we are going to discuss about these functions how these functions actually works and prevent us from get the output directly so just go to editor and this is the plugin guys that we have downloaded from this github repository okay so now just go to editor and now if we want just open up add a student page and now if we want to render some HTML elements or some output to, to, to this screen okay we have some values in our database table and now we want to render that values to this add student PHP page okay so before printing or before outputting any HTML data or any value to this page we have to first check that by using ESC underscore HTML function so just copy that or just may copy this line copy that go to editor and let me print just remove this PHP tags and let me print this first okay so suppose this is the value we were going to print out and this is the string value but now if we print directly to the screen it renders as the HTML but it's not a HTML it's a string value so we need to protect these HTML values that we need to tell browser that this is not a normal HTML tag this is a string value that we have stored in our database table so how can we protect that basically by the use of ESC HTML it converts it converts these angular brackets or slashes into its HTML entities characters and now these HTML entities protects these tags to get that it tells browser that it is a normal string okay so just save this file go to browser and refresh that page once we refresh this is the string that we got just copy the name control U to get the source code and let's find the name and as you can see that all the remaining characters instead of this text all the remaining characters converted into HTML entities 
okay HTML entities so by the help of ESC HTML by the help of ESC HTML function it escapes all the angular brackets all or the HTML characters into their corresponding entities so it protects the output from executing as the HTML tag okay if we execute normally without ESC HTML so just get rid of that just remove all these things and paste it here let me refresh that and as you can see that HTML tags are removed why because the browser renders the HTML tag but we need to tell the browser that it is not HTML tag it's a normal string okay so by the help of ESC HTML we can achieve that so just move to next slide and now this is the function this function escapes HTML specific characters as we have seen okay the next function that is ESC text area use ESC text area instead of ESC HTML suppose we have a text area in our form okay we want to dynamic populate the value from the database field to the text area means we have some values to the database field and we want that on page load or something else click on on click event we want to get the value from the database and now we want to put that value to the text area okay so before directly putting to that value to the text area we need to check the value by the using function called exc text area by the help of this function guys it double encode entities means as we have seen that ESC HTML decodes the HTML elements HTML specific characters into HTML entities but now exe text area does the same function actually it also provides the same entities codes but now it is double encoded it is double encoded so if any specific condition where we want to get the value from the database and now we have to put that value to the text area then before putting to the text area we need to means check that ESC text area and any of the string value just we need to provide in that so just make copy of that this function go to editor and let's say that we want to put this value to our text area okay we have a text area okay so let's say that here is our text area so just make copy of that and paste it here okay so let's say that about this is the about section and it basically a text area so let's say that text area okay which basically has some value so let's say that echo area value this is a variable where we have to store the just go up and we have to store this value okay so let's say that area value which basically contains the value of exe text area right here the HTML so now just save this file go to browser and refresh that page so as we can see that this is the about section and this is the value that we are populating by the help of ESC text area but the thing is that it double encodes these values okay in ESC HTML we have seen that it also encodes the HTML entities of HTML special characters but it is the single way but now ESC text area double encodes okay so in any condition if you want to give value to the text area we need to use called ESC text area okay and now the next function is called ESC ATTR means escape attribute okay so basically let's say that we have some value called let's say that anchor tag okay so let's say anchor tag here is called click here is the value and we have some attribute of let's say href for now just left blank and now we have the attribute called title suppose we are taking the this value from the database field we have some title value of this anchor tag to save to our database field we want to take from the database field and now we are going to put inside this title section so before putting that output to this double quotation symbol we need to use called php tag and let's say that es echo esc attr and here is the value we actually get from the database field what basically esc underscore attr will do basically it takes the value from the database field and now that value if contains any of the special characters any of the means incorrect pattern values then now in that condition it will remove all these values from that and it will print inside this title okay so basically it's a attribute it's a attribute of this anchor tag title is attribute so basically in this case we need to use called esc attr 
okay for the text area cases if you want to get values from the database and we have to put inside this text area we need to use called ESC text area the name is self clear and now if you want to populate any of the string inside our page for that we need to use called ESC HTML okay and the next and the final is called ESC URL so basically URLs can also contain the JavaScript code in them so if you want to display a URL or a complete a tag then you should escape the href attribute or else it can cause an access attack okay suppose we have a URL okay this is a variable now this is the value that actually we are getting from the database field and now we are going to put this URL value what actually we got from the database field inside this anchor tag and now this URL value contains the JavaScript code which is a malicious code okay we want to remove all these unspecified characters from this string value okay so for that basically it's a URL section of this anchor tag so we need to use called ESC URL so putting any URL either anchor tag either any of the hyperlink if you want to put any URL inside that which basically contains the link of another pages for that so we need to use called ESC URL to prevent invalued or invalid pattern from the get executed okay so these are the very basic functions guys which basically is used for the escaping these all functions we use at the time when we want to print or we want to give output to our page okay suppose we are fetching sub we are fetching to our database query and we are executing and taking the results from the database and now we are going to put that results to our page so before directly putting to that page we need to filter out all those outputs first okay so for that we need to use the function called ESC HTML ESC at text area ESC ATTR and ESC URL all the name itself clear URL section for the URL ATTR for the attributes where actually we are going to bind the attribute values txt area where we are going to bound the txt area values and also for the HTML section we are going to use called ESC underscore HTML so this is the this was actually guys part 5 of this video section series where we had studied about the securing output okay so I think guys we hope that from the next video session we will discuss about some important concept regarding our Ajax request that is called nonsense basically it contains a unique value which every time sends Ajax request to the server and the server checks that these values are requested by that okay if that value does not match then it sends a bad request error to our client side okay so this concept is very basic and is very useful to make any Ajax request from our plugin or from our theme okay so I think guys I have much made much more clear concept about securing output and now from the next video session we are going to study called nonsense so in this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day